Hey, we're Roma Ransom. Thanks for watching our downbeat episode. We hope you enjoyed. Southern Missouri in Springfield Mo and I was uh, I was out on the town square with a good friend of mine and we were busking me and, a, me and a friend were she was playing her guitar and I was playing my violin just with her case out hanging out and um, our our mutual friend was pedaling a um, pedicab and he had Gordon in the back of it with a, with a dreadlock mullet and a banjo <laughs> And I was like, who's that guy? I haven't seen him in Springfield yet. And so, um, this is kind of small town. And so um, I was like, come here, come jam with us. And our friend just kept pedaling. 
And I was like, what? Okay. Don't jump off right away. Fine. <laughs> and so then a few minutes later, me and my friend were like, I can't believe that guy didn't just come running to jam with us. What was that about? <laughs> and then I was saying that he walked up behind us and, and tapped me on the shoulder and was like, hey, can I, can I jam with you guys? So I've got a banjo. Yeah. Mm, are we keeping Gordon keeps well, count? By the end of the year, I think we will have done at least um, somewhere between like 200 to 220, somewhere in there. So, yeah. So keeping it pretty consistent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think this might be one of our busiest years. Um, we've been full time for at least five years, you know, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday gigs, and usually Thursdays in there as well. And But this year we've been doing at least on average four to five gigs like a week. Yep, so. doing more weekday gigs, which is awesome because because it is our full-time occupation, we got to keep it keep it full. Keep right, the schedule right. full. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, you know, be professional. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know that's something that seems like obvious, but you know, it's sometimes not always easy and sometimes you'll deal with um with booking agents that may, you know, be more low key or may not have super professional, you know, uh, communication rhetoric or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's always good to be professional in your emailing and uh, in in phone calls, um, and uh, make sure you have some good content. Mm -hmm. Right, content's pretty important. It's the only really the only way that we um, get gigs. What else, Gordy? You're well, the one who books. Compile uh, an electronic press kit. That's something I've really learned. You gotta have for festivals and things like that. Yeah, bigger gigs. Um, you know, in terms of, you know, there's gonna be a lot of um, rejection and things like that. Yes. So perseverance is probably key, I think, yes. because I don't know if we'd be here right now if it weren't for perseverance, just because yeah. we've had faced a lot of rejection in terms of, you know, getting emails that may have been like, eh, you're not the, quite the right fit. Or non kind of thing, Or non-responsive. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I send out 100 e emails, you might get one to five back or something like that.
one of the things that we hear a lot, you know, when people hear our music is that, you know, they feel like they're being transported to another place in time or, you know, like feeling like they're maybe in Europe or yes. something like that, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, as far as what we want them to hear, right. from my my uh, from my perspective, mm -hmm. just just good vibrations is pretty much all that we can ask for is just like we hope you enjoy, you know, I hope that they are feeling good. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope mm -hmm. that the vibration that we uh, bring to the atmosphere is like, like, you know, soothing and makes people, um, you know, not have to think too hard even about listening and, uh, you know, just kind of like let go a little bit. It often happens that Gordon will be like just kind of playing chords, playing, you know, playing around with a different melody or, or a chord structure and I'm kind of like, wait, keep doing or hold on do that but then do this and then <laughs> i kind of you know it's kind of just by chance that i might feel inspired to um you know like to have a melody in mind mm -hmm. so it really is kind of a free-flowing we don't you know take spend a lot of like effort being like okay we're gonna sit down and write this now you know it often just happens so so that's kind of nice we kind of leave it organic
All right. Uh, if you could make a rule for the day and everyone had to follow it, what would it be? Um, probably say to play music or be creative in any way possible. That's the rule. Yep, that's the rule. <laughs> <laughs> Abide by it. <laughs> Who has been your biggest supporter throughout your life? Um, that's actually a pretty easy one for me and I'm, I'm grateful to say and blessed to be able to say that my parents have been my biggest support. They, uh, you know, made sure that I went to all my lessons and all my <laughs> symphony rehearsals, especially my mom driving me all over and taking me to my group lessons and, and not letting me quit when I wanted to. If you could go back to the early 1900s, what's the first thing you'd tell someone about the future? Ooh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there are so many things yeah, that, you know, to, could have been done differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of things could have been done differently, <laughs> but, you know, we uh, have the technology to, you know, do what we're doing right now, making this video. Pretty awesome. Yes. You know, um, being able to play electric guitars. That's pretty awesome. So yeah. what would you, though, <laughs> tell someone about the future? That's what I tell them about the future. It's, uh, it's electric. <laughs> <laughs> it's electric. <Yeah. laughs> My next question is, what's one small thing we can do every day to make the world a better place? Okay, so it's hard <laughs> to pick just one. <laughs> um, I think that if you are in a position where you really can't um, change a lot of things about your life, which I know some people are, um, you can definitely smile more be kind to one another. That's, I think, the baseline for what we can do to make the world better.
never cut down Music. your hemp fields. Yeah, there Don't you go. stop growing yeah. hemp. Seriously, right, right. we need it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let them take your hemp away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you everybody for watching and watching Roma Ransom, and thank you for coming out. I know you're super busy playing just hundreds of shows a year and dominating the world. So, uh, where can people keep up with you? Uh, they can follow us on Instagram or Facebook, um, Roma Ransom. Uh, just Google us that way and you can find our social media outlets. Um, and if you're not social media savvy, if you're trying to avoid that, <laughs> uh, check out our website, <laughs> romaransom.com. Awesome. Go see them live. It, this is amazing. So thank you, thank everybody. You. Cheers. 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 Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go. Cheers. <laughs> 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 I might have just saved you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my gosh. You're really good. Thank you. That's great.